Ramsey. Ah. Dude, I'm terrified. Like, I have no idea. Like, I thought about scripting this, but then I couldn't script it. Because I just couldn't. <laughs> you know, I'm so anxious, I'm terrified. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be like a 10 minute video or like a two minute video. I don't know if I just might end up saying thank you everyone or I'm gonna get sad. I have no idea. I might get sad. I hope I don't get sad. I really have no idea. Arab man reacts 100k subscribers special. Assalamu alaikum habibati and welcome to the Arab Man Reacts 100k subscribers special. We started this channel four years ago, I think in June. And I think we posted our first video in July. And the whole thing started as just me and Joe sitting at home mid lockdown being bored out of our minds with nothing to do. And he was like, let's start a YouTube channel. And we had the discussion, we ended up starting a, a music reaction channel. And the only reason why that very first um, reaction, if you go back and you watch it, it's, it's literally in Joe's bedroom, no lights, no nothing, you know, his old camera. And, and I reacted to Nightwish. And the reason we reacted to Nightwish was actually like an inside joke because Joe's, Joe loves Nightwish and we'd always pick on Joe for liking folk metal. Like, Joe, Habibi, who listens to folk metal? What is this that you're listening to? You know, and we never listened to it. I personally never, ever listened to it. So he puts me there and he's like, Nightwish. And I'm like, I guess this is your way of getting me to listen to Nightwish. And he clicks on it, like clicks play on the video. It was him clicking play, I think at the time. I can't remember. Anyway. We press play and I do the video and two things happen. One, I fall in love with the band. I love her, man. I love her. I am in love with her. Two, the video does well. It gets like a few thousand views within like the first week. And me and Joe are like giddy at this point. We're like, what's going on? Like, what do we do? So we're like, okay, no, we need to be serious about this. So we spend like the entire week setting up my room to make sure that we have space to film and there's good lighting and uh, maybe we didn't use a microphone the first time so we set up a microphone the second time around and we just started posting videos so week in week out me and joey were filming a couple videos a week we're posting them and people are watching them like people are actually watching them like this isn't our first youtube channel like i've had channels where literally 10 views per video, five views per video, and it destroys you when that happens. People were actually watching our videos. And to this day, honest to God, I don't know why. I don't know if it's like the name of the channel, like people want to see what an Arab man thinks about music, Western music in the beginning, but now really world music, or I don't know. It's like the algorithm liked us or something. And all of a sudden it's like, okay, we'll give you one chance. Here you go. This is the channel that, that, that we'll, we'll, we'll show to people. And we kept doing it through like the weirdest of times, right? Cause it was locked down and Lebanon, the financial crisis was like in year one. And if you don't know about that, our currency devaluated uh, people's like, the average salaries were like a hundred dollars a month, you know, like the world was, was, was melting around us. And then August 4th happens that year, dude. It's the biggest non-nuclear explosion in the history of mankind in the city. Like the house gets shattered. Oh man, the windows just, just got rocked out of of where they sit and flew back it was like explosion then implosion and the furniture got rocked around everything it was insane when that happened i remember that's probably that day was the first time that i think me and joe realized how much we care for each other he uh he wasn't in the house he was up in the mountains so he drove back home like a madman and the streets was just glass everywhere. You know, buildings were destroyed and we were, we were a little farther away, but, but, you know, point blank where the explosion was like buildings were destroyed entirely. But Joey opens the house door, looks at me, dude. And he just gives me 
just a hug like nothing he doesn't say anything you know and and it was it was like i thought i lost you like that was that was the feeling right there and it was insane for the both of us and i'm gonna get teary-eyed but i'm not going to um and and the So all we really had going on for us there was was the channel. It was the one thing we could we could both like just sit and, and have fun with. You know, we weren't playing music at all. So it was like our only musical outlet as well. So we kept doing that till about I want to say January of 2021. Joey decides to leave the country and he goes to the UAE. He moves to Dubai. So when he moves, we say, we're gonna try and do this long term. <laughs> feels like a relationship now. I'd film on my own. I was terrified because I knew nothing about filming or setting up a camera. And then I'd upload the files and then he'd basically um, edit them and then upload it to YouTube and, and, and publish. And honestly, when we weren't in the same country, there was that spark, that magic, that motivation that kept us going that just fizzled out. And we stopped publishing, I think February of 2021. And honestly, it was heartbreaking even like opening up YouTube and looking at the back end because views were sort of still coming in. We were still getting subscribers. So it was, it was like really hard for me to go and, and look into it. And then September or August 2022, I talked to Ramsey. I'm like, listen, you want to edit for for AMR. So Ramsey's our other bandmate. He's he's the guitarist. Um we actually started the band together, me and Ramsey back way back when. Me and Joe were in a in a band. That's how me and Joe met. It was a house band in uni. And then Ramsey joined us as our drummer. And then we graduated. Then me and Ramsey started a band just to make some money to play gigs in like bars and stuff. And then that worked out. Then Joe joined us and then Ramsey's brother joined us and it just happened. That's the band that played for 10 plus years, four or five nights a week, and sometimes twice a day over the holidays. It would go crazy, man. We were doing incredible things. We'd fly out, we'd play. Our, our, our videos, our covers got hundreds of thousands and millions, really, of views and streams on YouTube and on Rami and Spotify. And then COVID hit and we went home and then we stopped doing all of that. But um, point is, me and Ramsey had that conversation and we come back to it. I published, let me check this. Yeah, September 5th, 2022, I published a video on the channel for the first time in over a year. It was, I think a year and nine months. The video gets 16,000 views in the first day. And that was everything that I needed to just, you know what? Come rain or shine, I'm gonna freaking do this. I'm just going to dedicate a part of my life to this channel no matter what. And that's what we did. And and we just kept posting videos in and out every day. I started to engage more with the community of, of the channel. And, and, and I started to make friends from every corner in the world. And it's been almost two years since that moment. And we're just about to hit, actually as a filming this, we're, we haven't hit yet 100,000 subscribers, but we're gonna hit 100,000 subscribers. 100,000 people have come together on this channel. 100,000 people have come together to share their love and passion for music and artists. 100,000 people that speak the same language without speaking, just love for music and art and artists and artistry. It's, I can't,
tell you enough how this makes me feel. Like, I feel privileged. I feel honored. I feel a great responsibility. I feel connected to you all. I feel so blessed. And I feel that there's so much love out there that I keep discovering. And I think the biggest takeaway for, for me from this experience is that if you turn off the news, and if you turn off all like the misinformation online, there's only one realization that we can all make is that we're all l literally one people. That's all it is. We're just people, dude. And, and we all want the same things in life, you know? And we can all live in complete harmony. And, and really life can be so simple, man. It can be so simple. As I discover more artists and I meet more people and I have conversations and honestly, like my favorite thing is when I see people talking with each other, like I read almost all the comments. I might not reply. I mean, I used to, I used to make it a point to reply to every single comment, but now the channel gets hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. I don't want to say thousands because I'm scared of admitting, but hundreds of, of comments a day. And I just, I just, you know what I mean? I can't reply to everyone anymore but i read all the comments and i see the conversations and out of all the videos we posted all the comments that are out there i don't think not even 0.1 of a percent are negative comments or people getting into fights in the comments or anything like that like do you know how rare that is online like if you go to twitter for like literally five minutes you'll get cancer you know and and the, the, just because the amount of hate and bs on that but Read the comment section of any video. It's people coming together for the love of an artist or a song or music or a genre or, or a piece of history, man. And we've discovered so much. We've discovered so many of these just, these situations, these moments in time where it's like, it's a specific live show, you know? And that live show is 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 one of the greatest gems of music of all in all of music history. And we discover it. Someone has that. And they send it to me and they tell me their story that's connected to that. Right? And then I go ahead and Blanca, I'm thinking of you and I'm thinking of Juan Gabriel when I say this. And they'll send it through and I'll go ahead and I'll watch it with what they told me about it. And I feel what they feel. And then I'm able to talk about that. And while I watch it for the first time, and then I realize in that moment, after I post that video, that there's hundreds of people that this song, this performance, it made them feel the exact same way that it made me feel, that it made Blanca feel. And dude, if that isn't magic, I don't know what is. This has been the greatest joy of my life and you've all been through so much with me. Like when I was getting married, I was making these videos. When I had my baby girl, I was making these videos. When I got a promotion at work, I was making these videos. When, when every little, every step of my life, the past year and a half, since we started doing this again, you've been with me every day, every single day, every single day you've been with me. You know, it's, it's like, it's my therapy. It's, it's my safe space. Like now that we're uploading seven videos a day, every single day I come here, I sit, I, I pop this camera, I click record and, and I record something. And point is, I'm never, ever, ever stopping this thing. And if you're here with me, I hope you stay with me and know that you mean to me more than you could ever possibly imagine. I wish I could take the time to say thank you individually to every single person that has supported us along the way. 
And maybe I'll do that one day. And there's hundreds and hundreds of people. But there are a few that have just really supported us in incredible ways. And I'm so proud to call them friends of this channel and, and now honestly friends of mine. And now I can end this tribute. I love you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Salamat. Salam alaikum, Habibati, and welcome to the first ever episode of Arab Man Overreacts.